Hello and thank you for watching. This is a quick video to do a tutorial on how you can play old Amiga games on your PC using a software called WinUAE, which is an emulator. Um, it's dead easy, dead simple, but I thought I'd do a video to show you the step-by-step um, -step instructions, what you'll need to do. First thing you'll need to do is get WinUAE, obviously, so if you just do a Google search for WinUAE, you'll find it here. I will put links for everything in the description as always, but I like to go from start to finish. So if you click on the download section, uh, the one at the top here will be the latest version. Click on that because you want the installer version. So just click on that. I've already downloaded them. I'm not going to download them again. Uh, the next thing you'll need, and this is important, you'll need some kickstart ROMs. I'll explain why you need them in a minute. So best place to find them I found is on the Pirate Bay. So if you go into the Pirate Bay and type in WinUAE. Uh, like I said, WinUAE is uh, free anyway. All this is free. Um, even the ROMs are free these days. Um, so what you do is click on games, do a pirate search. And the one we want, it's got some stuff in the folder that we don't want, but we do want the kickstart ROMs. So if you click on this one, um, as you would normally, click on get this torrent on the mag magnet link, and if you've got something like uTorrent, it should download automatically into uTorrent. Okay, and the last third thing we'll need is, well, it, once you've got all this set up normally, you would get it all set up and it's running, but then get some games. But uh, we'll do a quick uh, game search, so you, um, there's a place called ROM World. Again, I'll link everything in the description. So if you go to ROM World here, it's got ROMs for diff all different types of emulate, emulated games, uh, emulated platforms. If we want Amiga. I have already downloaded one. Some of these can be quite slow downloads, um, which are quite limited, but the games, obviously, because they're on old um, floppy disks, they're never that big. I think I downloaded um, Castle Master or something, just a random one. Okay, I think that's it for all we need to download. Yes, it is. So let's get rid of all this. Right, so I've downloaded all three here. So first thing we'll do is we'll get Castle Master and we'll extract that using well whatever program you use, I'm using WinZip. Okay, so you've got Castle Master. If you look inside, that's got the ADF file, that's the actual ROM itself. Uh, sorry, not the ROM, the uh, disk itself. Okay, and in here is this is what we downloaded from the Pirate Bay earlier. All we want is the Kickstarter ROMs. So if you just move the Kickstarter ROMs outside of there. And get rid of all the rest. Unless you want to keep the stuff that's in there. I mean, there's lists of games, um, screenshots from running from when you were. There's a few things in there, but personally, I don't need them. Actually, what I would say is I've already done it, but you would, the Kickstarter ROMs will be zipped as well. They'll just need to extract them as well. No problem. Okay. So all we want is these three. Okay. So first thing you do then is install when you were. Okay, it's that simple, that quick. There we go. Okay, so I've got one when you are here now, so we can get rid of that installer. Okay, so next thing you want to do is click on when you are here, and you'll get a message, and it'll say that you need these ROMs. These are the Kickstarter ROMs that we were discussing earlier. Basically, this is what allows you to play different versions of um, Amiga platform that they had, like Amiga 500, 1000, 2000, so on and so forth. So what we'll do is it says here check the system ROM path in the past panel and click rescan for ROMs. Okay, so what we're going to do is just bring this down a second. All your stuff should be being saved into my documents. If you look at my documents, it should have Amiga files, WinUAE. So in this section here where it says WinUAE, we're going to stick these kickstart uh, kick ROMs. So just move the folder into there. Okay, and then you can get rid of that for a second. So what we need to do is we need to scan for those ROMs now. So if you go to paths at the top here. You'll see at the top here it says System ROMs, so we're going to look for those ROMs that we just had a second ago. So we'll click on the Browse button, which is at the side there, and it'll automatically go straight to the Amiga files in the WinUAE folder. Click on the Kickstart ROMs in the ROMs folder, and you'll see yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't show anything inside, but that doesn't mean they're not there. So basically just select that folder, and it'll do a search, and it'll find the ROMs that are inside that folder. So you're all set to go now. Okay, so... Last thing we need to do is obviously we need the game. So we need to use Castle Master. So again, open up your documents file, Amiga files, WinUAE. What I what I usually do is get a new folder and just call it games. Okay, and then we're going to take uh, Castle Master. We know there's only one ADF file in there, but you'll find with um, a lot of games that are on the Amiga, a lot of discs we used. So things like Monkey Island 2, I think it had 11 discs. So you'll find 11 ADF files inside those folders. So I always keep them inside the folder to keep it all looking good. 
go into games and we've got Castle Master there. So we're going to load in Castle Master now. We can get rid of that again. So easiest way to do it is if you just click on Quick Start. And we're going to have to select him. What I would suggest as well is if you look in the configuration here for the Model A500, it's saying that's usually the one that was used. That's the most common one. Click on the RAM and I would move it to one uh, a one megabyte chip of RAM. I just find more games work if you have on the one mega uh, one megabit of uh, chip RAM. Okay. So what we need to do then is we're going to select an image file. Select some image files in the game section. Cool master. And we want the ADF file. Click on open. So it's sat in there. It's right protected at the moment. So that means that this can't be written over, which is always best to do. And what we need to do then is just click on start. And it'll automatically start up. It takes a few seconds usually. And what you'll normally get is a, a splash screen um, from the people that cracked the original ROM. It's always weird seeing that on an old Amiga DOS screen. Okay, so usually these you can either escape out of them, press enter, or left. Well, that one's left click one, that one. Um, so I want E for English. Obviously. Even though you're on um, a high power computer, sometimes it can take a while. You've probably seen the bottom screen here, but that little 25, 27 it keeps moving up and down. That's actually the disc. And when you've got more discs, you can actually have up to four discs in, um, installed at any one time. So, sounds a bit jumpy. But you get the idea anyway. Some ROMs you'll find that you need to get out. What you do is, um, if you need to get out of the game to go and do something on the desktop, just press the F12 button. It'll automatically bring up the properties page. So the, the sound was a bit jumpy on that for some reason. Um, there are lots of things you can change settings on to try and get rid of little issues like that, but I'd only go messing around in there if you really know what you're doing. Um, you can still change these. I mean, you can bring that down to there to see if that solved the sound problem because maybe it's running a bit too fast. Um, but yeah, the, the, sometimes you just need to play about with things like that. So it's like you can slide across the best compatibility to local compatibility. And so you get the idea anyway. Um, also, I would like to say, if you want to save a game, uh, easiest way to do it. So if you just if you click on OK, you just go back to the game again. But if you exit out, and basically you can go to miscellaneous section at the bottom here, save state, um, n name it as whatever you want, so castle, castle 1. So it's like castle save one, save it, press OK. If you ever load up a game, once the game is playing, F12 out again, miscellaneous, load state, and you save should be, and then it should go automatically to where it was last saved. Um, that's it really. It's um, like I say, it's really simple. Um, there's so many ROMs out there. You will find quite, well, not quite a few, but you'll 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 download a selection of ROMs, <clears throat> and some of them will be corrupt. And then when you try to play them, it just won't work. Um, so you'd have to do a search for that game again. There's hundreds and hundreds of great games out there for the Amiga, the old Amigas. Um, yeah, so I suggest if you if you fancy playing that, you use these methods and um, happy gaming. Um, as always, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and if you like the video, please consider leaving a like. And thank you for watching as always. And thank you. Goodbye.